Hi dear students, in this video let us learn few important questions of chemistry. First question is, what is chemical combination reaction and give example. Chemical combination is a reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form a single product is called chemical combination. Here we can write a formula also, A plus B gives rise to AB, A is a reactant, B is a reactant and combine together they will form AB is a product. So likewise example carbon plus oxygen gives rise to CO2. Next question what is chemical decomposition reaction give example. A reaction in which a single reactant breaks down into two or more products is called chemical decomposition reaction. It is almost ultra of the combination reaction. Here there are three types of chemical decomposition reaction. They may ask in the exam which are the three types of decomposition reaction or they may ask for the example. So we have to know about the three types of decomposition reactions. First type is thermal decomposition. If the decomposition carried out by heating is called thermal decomposition. At the same time photochemical decomposition. Photo means light. In presence of light, if decomposition carried out, then it is said to be photochemical decomposition. Example for this is silver chloride. Third type is electrolytic decomposition. Electrolytic decomposition takes place when electric current is passed through the compound in its molten or aqueous solution, means liquid. Example is water. Next question, what is rancidity? Mention the preventive measures of it. The process of slow oxidation of oil and fat present in the food material resulting in the change of smell and taste in them is called rancidity. The preventive measures are by keeping the food materials in airtight container, second point refrigeration of cooked food at low temperature and also by adding the antioxidants we can prevent the rancidity. Next question. Write the differences between acids and bases. Acids are sour in taste, bases are bitter in taste. Acids turn blue litmus into red, bases turn red litmus into blue. Acids have more H plus ions, bases have more OH minus ions. pH of an acid is less than 7. Bases pH is more than 7 but below 14. Next question. What is neutralization reaction? Give examples. A reaction between an acid and base to form salt and water is called neutralization reaction. Example, HCl plus NaOH gives rise to NaCl plus water molecule. This is also very important. Next question, write the preparations and uses of the following salts. Among these salts, definitely one will come to the examination. They may ask what ask for the preparation of the salt, or they may ask for the uses for uses of the bleaching powder or uses of plaster of Paris. So definitely one question will be there from this salts. So you have to learn more about this. Sometimes they may ask for the chemical name of the compound. For example, gypsum, what is the chemical formula for the gypsum or what is the chemical formula of bleaching powder that is CaOCl2, calcium oxychloride. Then they ask what is the chemical formula for plaster of Paris. It is calcium sulfate CaSO4 dot half H2O. Half H2O is pronounced as hemihydrate. So calcium sulfate hemihydrate is the chemical name of plaster of Paris and uses of plaster of Paris also repeated many times in the examination. Uses of plaster of Paris are it is used for making toys materials for decoration and for making surfaces smooth and doctors use as a plaster for supporting fractural bones and it is also used for making casts in dentistry and it is used as a fireproofing materials. It is also used in chemistry laboratories, uh, laboratories for sealing the air gaps in apparatus. So these are the major uses of plaster of Paris. Uses of bleaching powder. Bleaching powder used in bleaching cotton and linen in textile industry. It is used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries. It is also used in purification of water to kill the germs. Next, state the properties of ionic compounds. Example for ionic compound is table salt that is common salt. 
they are crystalline in nature ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points these are formed by a strong electrostatic force of attraction they are soluble in water but in in inorganic solvents in solid state they do not conduct electricity but in molten state in its liquid state it will conduct electricity next question what is functional group list out different functional groups with their formula functional groups may be defined as an atom or a group of atoms which makes a carbon compound reactive and decide its properties regardless of the length and nature of the carbon chain here some of the important functional groups are here first one is halo alkenes that is chloro or bromo alkene then alcohol group here h is substituted by oh aldehyde group that is cho group ketone that is c double bond o then carboxylic acid that is c c o o h carboxylic acid group next question define isomerism it is the phenomenon of exhibiting same molecular formula but different structures by the organic compounds is called isomerism example for this is butane and isobutane you can observe, observe the structures over here that is n butane normal butane exhibits single straight line structure isobutane exhibits quite different structure next question what is the what are the physical properties of metals metals are lustrous in nature they have shining surface metals are hard they are malleable can be made into thin sheets they are ductile can be made into thin wires they are good conductors of heat they are good conductors of electricity also they have they have high melting point and they are sonorous they make sound sonorous means sound next question what are the physical properties of non metals generally non metals occur in solid or gaseous states they are non conductors of heat and electricity they are non sonorous they do not show any malleability and ductility only graphite is an exception as it shows lustrous nature and it conducts electricity next question what is substitution reaction illustrate with example it is a reaction in which one or more hydrogen atoms of an organic compound are replaced by other example methane that is ch4 plus chlorine here one h is replaced by one chlorine atom then it is becoming ch3cl plus hcl then again from chloromethane if we add chlorine for that again one hydrogen is replaced by chlorine so you can observe the reactions next question mention four differences between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons in saturated hydrocarbons only single bond is present between carbon atoms unsaturated there will be double or triple bonds between carbon carbon atoms saturated hydrocarbons undergo substitution reactions unsaturated hydrocarbons undergoes addition reactions saturated hydrocarbons burns with blue flame unsaturated burns with sooty flame and saturated hydrocarbons are re less reactive unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive next question what are amphoteric oxides metal oxides which react with both acids as well as bases to produce salt and water are known as amphoteric oxides the examples are aluminum oxide and zinc oxide next question explain the cleansing action of detergents or how micelles are formed inside water these molecules have a unique orientation that keeps the hydrocarbon portion out of the water thus clusters of molecules in which the hydrophobic tails are in the interior of the cluster and the ionic ends are on the surface of the cluster this formation is called a micelle this forms an emulsion in water the soap micelle thus helps in pulling out the dirt in water and we can wash our clothes clean next question state the following laws first one state dobereiner's laws of triads when the three elements were arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the atomic masses of other two elements
Next law state Newland's law of octaves. When the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass, every eighth element has the properties similar to that of the first element. Next question state Mendeleev's periodic law. The properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic mass. Next question state modern periodic law. The properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number. This is the modern periodic law. Next question what were the limitations of Mendeleev's periodic table? The limitations were hydrogen was not given fixed position. Second point discovery of isotopes could not find a place in the table. Third one atomic masses do not increase in regular manner. So it was difficult to predict how many elements would be invented between the two elements. So these are the limitations of the Mendeleev's periodic table. Next question. Explain the special properties of carbon to form many compounds. Here the first property is catenation. Catenation means carbon has a unique property of sharing electrons with other carbon atoms to form straight, branched or long chains. Second property tetravalency. Carbon has four valence electrons so it is called tetravalent. Carbon being tetravalent can form covalent bonds with atoms of other elements such as hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. These properties helps carbon to form many compounds. Next question. Differentiate between roasting and calcination. Calcination means the carbonate ores are changed into oxides by heating strongly in limited air. Example zinc carbonate. On heating, it is forming zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Roasting means the sulphide ores are converted into oxides by heating strongly but in the presence of excess air. Example, zinc sulphate. On heating with oxygen, it is forming zinc oxide and sulphur dioxide. So, study these questions well. All the best for your exam.